with the feeding tube and my nutrition going, I don't have to worry about it, but now I'm starting to really feel the effects of not getting proper nutrition. I'm sorry, y'all. Till I can get adequate nutrition again, I'm gonna take a break from the vlogs. Friday morning everyone I felt the lack of nutrition this morning when I woke up I just feel not so great but the good news is I have what I need to help hold me over until Monday Kate Farms amazingly overnighted their oral nutritional supplemental drink to me, so I got that this morning. And later today I'll be getting my delivery for my usual infusion and port care supplies, including the extra fluids for this weekend. I am infusing now. And I'm just taking it easy. I'm doing my best not to expend en any energy, so. I'm just doing the best I can. So here's everything that's going to help hold me over until Monday when we can replace my feeding tube. I've got the oral nutritional shakes from Kate Farms, my fluids, and the ambulatory pump to infuse the fluids. This is a banana bag with the extra nutrients, electrolytes, and whatnot. In no way does this replicate what my feeding tube formula does for me and I am probably gonna get a bit worse before things get better, but at the very least, all of this will help. I am really thankful Kate Farms sent this to me on such short notice. They overnighted it to me so I could have it through the weekend. And this can be used for feeding tube formula. I know people who do use it for their feeding tube. We use their other formula because it's higher in caloric value and its properties are more broken down so it's easier for my body to absorb but this is going to be a good solution for me to sip on because it's really nutritious and I put the others in the fridge since I prefer them to be chilled but I am going to try this one right now I got the chocolate flavored I'm going to try it right now because I haven't tried it yet so I just shook this up That actually tastes really good. Awesome. So I cannot do a lot of volume, but at least the few sips I do manage throughout the day will be really nutritious and that's good. When I have my feeding tube and I'm getting proper nutrition, I still do take a few bites of various foods throughout the day, but since I don't have my nutrition running, I have to make what I intake orally now really count. So I'm only gonna be intaking the Kate Farms nutritional shake and it's just a gosh the feeding tube takes away so much stress I can feel myself like becoming a bit emotional because with the feeding tube and my nutrition going I don't have to worry about it but now I'm starting to really feel the effects of not getting proper nutrition and I'm feeling terrible so I want to make myself eat but I have to be careful not to give myself too much because then I'll vomit but I'm not getting enough and it's just, it's like a vicious cycle and it's stressful, but I am so thankful that this will be over on Monday. I'm sorry y'all, I can't do this. I feel terrible. So I'm going to take a short break from vlogging until I get my feeding tube exchanged. I will upload this video because if I stop without warning, I know some of y'all would worry and with the connection we have, I just, I don't want to worry anyone. But until I can get adequate nutrition again, I'm going to take a break from the vlogs. Please try not to worry too much. Just because I'm taking a break doesn't mean I'm an emergency situation. I have been much worse off with my gastroparesis. 
if y'all remember how I was before I got my feeding tube initially, that was scary. Right now I'm just feeling very weak and run down, lethargic. I'm having to use my walker more and just getting out of bed, like getting dressed, taking Harlow out and feeding her, it was just, that took, so, that took everything I had, all the energy. And I'm taking a break because I just don't have the energy to like vlog and edit and upload and all that. But also this weekend, I'm just gonna be staying in bed and sleeping. So there's not much to vlog anyway. And my mom will be here all weekend to help me even though Judd's not back yet, I will have some support here. And Harlow, of course. Right now, I am just feeling extremely worn out and I'm relying on my walker more. I'm feeling weak. I mean, imagine just not being able to eat since when was the last time I ran my feet? Since Monday night. It's not easy. And I am hanging in there, but this just really grows my appreciation for my feeding tube. The tube takes away a lot of stress surrounding my gastroparesis itself and a lot of stress surrounding food. It's not that I choose not to eat. That's not it at all. I love eating. I'm a human being. I love the taste of food. I just physically cannot. My stomach is partially paralyzed. It cannot digest food. And if I force feed myself, I'll vomit. And I hate vomiting. I am grateful for the fact that usually I'm able to take a few bites of various foods throughout the day. On bad days, I can't eat at all. On good days, I can manage a couple hundred calories. But it's definitely not enough to sustain myself on oral intake alone. And that's where the feeding tube comes in. I used to be so stressed out about food leading right up to when I first got my feeding tube placed. If y'all remember that time, it was pretty scary. I knew I needed to eat, but I knew eating was gonna cause horrible symptoms, stomach pain, bloating like you wouldn't believe. When was I gonna hit that boundary where I would eat too much and puke? And it was terrible. And the worst part of it all was even though I was doing my very best and forcing myself to eat as much as I could, I was still losing weight. I was still becoming horribly malnourished. And I think why I'm becoming a bit emotional right now is even though I know logically I'm going to start getting better on Monday, my body knows that it's going back into that state and it's just very stressful. Obviously that severe malnourishment happened over the course of a long time. So going like just under a week without feeds is doable and I'll be okay. It's just like a realization of how grateful I am for the feeding tube, how much it helps me, how much stress it takes away because I don't have to worry about force feeding myself and getting enough calories. It bypasses my stomach and goes to my small intestine. Small intestine is proven to be great at digestion and I can feel strong and nourished and get everything I need from my feeding tube. And then that frees me up to eat orally only when I feel capable, you know? I don't have to sit down at the table and force feed myself if I know it's going to make me feel sick. Instead, I can just take a few bites here and there when it best suits me. I know I need to continue eating orally because if I don't, I could lose what little function my stomach has left. But so much stress is gone with my feeding tube. Again, it doesn't fix everything. It's not a perfect answer, but it's the best tool we found to help manage my gastroparesis. And you know, I was feeling a little saddened earlier because I was telling myself, on Monday things will get better, on Monday things will get better, and the reality is there are so many other GP warriors out there and things are not getting better for them. I know GP affects everybody differently, but at the same time, I know of people who are still struggling with symptoms even though they have tried every possible treatment. I know people who have not yet been able to find a knowledgeable doctor 
and their GP is not well controlled. There are people out there right now who are probably struggling with gastroparesis and don't even know it because it's not a very well-known disorder. I was one of those people who had no idea what gastroparesis was um, until I started the diagnosis process. But this is why I share my story, to hopefully spread awareness, to hopefully let other warriors know they are not alone in their battle. And together, maybe we can foster some more understanding for invisible illnesses in our community to break the stigmas that are out there. And so I just wanna say thank you to y'all for being so understanding and helpful and loving and supportive in this time. And again, I will be okay until Monday. I just really need to take a break because I'm not feeling it. I told myself that if vlogging ever becomes a chore rather than a passion, I need to take a step back. And it's not feeling like a chore per se right now. It's just becoming too physically demanding. Like right now I need to take full focus on my body and I'm literally just going to lay in bed and sleep the whole weekend. Again, my mom will be here the whole weekend to help me. So there's just not gonna be much to vlog anyways. And I promise as soon as I'm able, I will pick up the camera and continue vlogging. I will give updates on Instagram. There we go. That's a good, um, I don't know what the word is, but oh, a good compromise. So no vlogs, but there's a link to my Instagram in the description and I will post there. And again, thank you. Y'all are why I do what I do. You are the ones who help me share my story and spread awareness and let others know they're not alone in their fight. So with much love, I will say goodbye and I will see you next time.